Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am so excited to be working with one of my favorite brands, Sabina Savage, to bring you seven ways to wear a scarf. As you know, I love scarves and I have quite a few in my collection and I also really, really love Sabina's work. I think that she's not only an incredibly talented artist, but also does such a beautiful job of sourcing gorgeous materials and really high quality construction. So when you buy one of her scarves, you're not just getting something that will last and complement your wardrobe in a really high quality way, but you're also buying a piece of wearable art, which I love. I think it really acts sense your personal style in a gorgeous way. Now, I also know that scarves can be kind of intimidating, and especially if you're just getting started or maybe you don't really know where to start, it can be overwhelming. So the goal of today's video is to not only help launch her newest collection, which is absolutely breathtaking, but to also give you my tips for picking a scarf so you can find something that you'll actually wear, something that will complement your wardrobe, something that you can have confidently in your closet it for many years, and then also how you can wear a scarf in really easy ways. These are super simple ties, things you can do in a couple seconds so you don't have to overthink it, and you can actually wear them and enjoy them as much as I do, hopefully. So let's get started. Let's start off with how you can go about finding your perfect scarf. These are things that I like to keep in mind to make it a lot easier. They're things that make it super obvious, kind of, what scarf you should be choosing because they consider your lifestyle your personal wardrobe, and the things that are going to influence how often you actually wear a scarf. So the first thing I think you should consider is your color palette. Unsurprisingly, you know how much I love a color palette. I think every wardrobe should have one. It makes getting dressed a lot easier, and it can also be used to influence the scarf you should get, because every scarf has a color palette. So using your own color palette as guidance will help point you in the right direction. So I like to look at my overall palette and all the colors included, all my base colors and all my accent colors. And then I like to consider when I want to wear the scarf. Maybe I want it to be a year-round piece. It's going to be something I can wear all the time and in a lot of different ways. Then I will consider my overall palette and the colors I wear the most often, and that will give me the palette to look for for my scarf. And then of course, if you want a scarf that will just be for spring, summer or fall, winter, Look for a color palette within your overall color palette that represents those that you wear during those seasons. So for me, for example, that would be something like navy and burgundy for fall, and then maybe something like navy or black, and then something lighter like a white or a gray for spring and summer. So it's very individual and something that can help eliminate some of them straight out the gate just by doing that. Now, once you know the color or the colors that you're looking for, you can move on to material. And this is another thing that will be really obvious if you start to break down where you live and when you want to wear the scarf. So if you want something that you can wear all year long, I think something like a silk twill is perfect because it's light but it's still breathable and it can keep you warm and it's very versatile. So you can find something that you can wear in a silk twill around your neck when it's a little bit colder or in your hair, on your wrist, on a handbag when it's warmer. So it's really versatile material. And then of course, if you're looking for something for cold weather and you want a cold scarf, a cold weather scarf, I recommend finding something with silk and cashmere or cashmere and wool. Any type of blend that features those materials will be really warm but still really soft and it will flow really beautifully. So it'll give you something that will keep you toasty but still feel super elegant and really luxurious. The last thing to consider is the size. And just like the first two, I think this is a really obvious progression because you go from color to material to size as you determine when you want to wear your scarf and how you want to wear it. So if you're looking for a scarf that you can wear in very cold weather, I think going for a larger scarf is perfect because you can wrap it up a few times around your neck or even drape it around yourself if it's cold but not too cold. And it looks so elegant. I think it's a really, really beautiful option. 
And then if you're looking for something that you can wear when it's cold and hot, so kind of all year, I recommend something that's small to medium. That way you can wear it around your neck like I have done today and then in another way that I'll show you in just a little bit. But you can also tie that on a handbag or in your hair so you have something that you can wear less restrictively. So again, personalize this to you. Make sure you're honest with yourself and especially as you're building your collection, maybe start with something that you can wear all year long and then go to things that are just for this season and then just for that season. Now I want to share seven ways to wear a scarf. These are my seven personal favorite ways to tie them. They're really easy and really quick. They don't require a lot of steps and they're things you can do to get comfortable wearing scarves so that then if you do like them, you can scale up and do more complicated ties. So if you're interested in complicated ties or things that are more complex than what I'm gonna show you, I will link Sabina's videos down below for you because she has a lot of tutorials and they're all really easy to follow and the end result is absolutely beautiful. And then I'm also, for this portion, gonna be styling some of the scarves from the new collection so you can get an idea for the colors and the fabrics and how they all lay. So I will link all of them down below for you and then also put over the screen somewhere probably which one I'm styling. That way you can get a feel for what might be your favorite if you're interested in adding any of them to your own wardrobe. So the first one that I want to talk about is the choker. And I call this because it's a choker. It's really high up on the neck and tied really close. So it works for small to medium scarves and then even much larger scarves. And I think it's really great because if it's hot or a little bit warmer outside, you can use a smaller scarf to give a smaller choker and not overheat. But then also if it's cold outside, you can take a really big scarf and something in a warmer material, still tie it in kind of a choker style really high up, give yourself some added warmth and fill that space. So it's really a personal favorite of mine. And the first way I do it for the smaller medium scarf is super simple. You just take the scarf and fold it into a really thin rectangle and then tie it either once or twice around your neck, depending on how big the scarf is. And then I like to move the tie to the back so it's not visible. And that way you get a really clean line of a little bit of the pattern and a little bit of the color. I think it looks really, really chic. And then to do this for a bigger scarf, you're going to take the larger scarf and again, fold it into a rectangle and then wrap it around your neck a couple times and then just tuck the ends under or tie them if you want off to the side and then tuck them under that way. Really easy. It takes two seconds and I think looks really great. It looks like you're just so effortlessly throwing on a scarf. You want to be cozy, but you're still really elegant and I think it never misses. This next way to wear a scarf is a new addition to how I've been wearing them recently and it's what I'm wearing today. I like to call it the rosebud because it kind of looks like a rosebud and it's really beautiful. It looks complicated but it's actually so easy and I think it works best for like a small to medium scarf, something that can wrap really easily around your neck and also something in a twill. I think twill holds the shape really beautifully. So all you want to do is take the scarf, take two corners, bring them together, tie them in a little knot, and then stick, them, stick your arm through it. And then once you do that, take one end, take the other end, pull them together, and then you have this design and then tie it in the back and then maneuver it so that it looks good. Super easy and again, I think looks really, really beautiful. This next way to wear a scarf is probably what I've been doing the longest and it's the handbag accessory because I couldn't come up with a better name for it. But this is something that you can do using either a standard square, like small to medium size scarf or something in a ribbon style, which I think is really, really beautiful because these can be worn in a lot of different ways in your hair, on your bag, around your neck. And I think that particularly for a handbag, especially one with a top handle, this works really beautifully because it doesn't lose its shape and it still gives a beautiful accent to your purse. I also think this is a really good one if you're not really comfortable wearing scarves yet because it's part of your outfit 
but not really in front of your outfit. So you're not wearing it on your neck and it's not something that becomes the main focal point. So it's a little bit more subtle and I think a good way to start playing with scarves. And then the next one is a headband style. And this works for either the ribbon that we talked about earlier or a standard uh, regular square style scarf, something that's medium to large so that it can fit around your head. You don't want something too tight because then you'll get a headache. And you're basically, for the ribbon style, just going to tie it like you would a regular headband or hair ribbon and then secure it in either a bow or maybe just a knot and then tuck the ends under. So, so easy. And then if you're gonna do this with a rectangle, excuse me, with a square style scarf, you're gonna wanna fold it into a thin rectangle like we did before. And then I like to knot it in the middle to give some interest and then secure it underneath your hair around your head like you would a regular headband. And it looks so beautiful. This next tie is something that I've also been wearing for a really long time. I think when most of us start wearing scarves, this is the most obvious way to wear it. And the one that is kind of the easiest to do. You see it all over Pinterest, so it's something that's easy to incorporate into your wardrobe and something that quite literally takes two seconds. I think it works really beautifully with something that's a medium size, maybe a small size depending on the size of your neck. And then of course you can do something larger as well and this works just as beautifully. It just depends on how big you want the front piece to be. So I like to call this the v-neck tie because it kind of looks like a v-neck and I used to use it to fill my v-neck sweaters before I decided that I prefer a crew neck style. So basically all you do is you take the scarf, lay it flat, turn it into a triangle, and then you're going to tie it behind, bring it front, and secure it. That's it, it's so easy. And then you can move it off to the side, move it all the way to the back if you want, or a personal favorite of mine is to take the V and tuck it underneath my shirt. It gives this really beautiful interest and keeps everything localized there, which I really, really love. And this looks really beautiful layered underneath jackets and of course sweaters and stuff. And it's a classic, you really can't go wrong with this one. Another way I really love to wear my scarves is to tie them into bows. I think this accents your face in a really beautiful way. It draws a lot of attention there. And then also it's really playful and youthful and I personally really love it. So you can do this using either a ribbon scarf or a, a regular square style scarf that you're gonna fold down. So using a ribbon scarf I think is probably the easiest because you just wrap it around your neck however many times you want and then tie it into a bow and finesse it until it looks beautiful. And then of course you can wear that bow in the front, off to the side, or in the back. And then also you don't even have to tie it into a bow. You can just tie it once and then let the ribbon hang down, which I think looks really, really beautiful, especially when coupled with your hair pulled back. Now, if you want to do this with a larger square style scarf, you're gonna fold it down so that it's a thin rectangle and then tie that into a bow. It's really easy, it just looks chunkier. So depending on the look you want, one I think makes more of a statement than the other one, but both are really beautiful. And last but not least is what I call the drape because you quite literally just drape the scarf over your body. It takes two seconds. It's perfect for something that's larger and something that's really gonna keep you cozy and warm because you can wear this by itself if it's not that cold or you can wear it layered underneath a jacket when it is cold. So I like to take the scarf either in its full size or fold it a little bit wear it over my shoulders like a shawl, and then throw it over one side. It looks really, really elegant and really effortless. Now, if it's really cold, I will take this and then I will instead maybe secure it underneath my arm, tie it in almost an invisible tie so it doesn't blow away, or I'll take it, fold it into a rectangle and then drape it in front of me. And then you can tie it as many times as you like around your neck. So it gives almost the effect of the choker style that we talked about, coupled with this drape style for something that's really, really versatile and practical. It'll actually keep you warm and it does a beautiful job of blocking out the air. So as you know, I'm a singer and I really like to keep my voice protected. And this does a really beautiful job of that. It's so, so good.
And there you have it. Those are seven ways to wear a scarf and my tips for finding your perfect scarf. Hopefully, if you don't wear them already, this got you a little bit inspired and interested in trying them and eliminated some of that intimidation factor that can come from scarves. And then if you already wear scarves, hopefully this reinvigorated your love for them. And I would love to know in the comments down below your favorite ways to style them so that I can add some new ways into my own rotation. And then of course, thank you to Sabina for sponsoring today's video and allowing me the opportunity to share this collection with you. I hope that you love it as much as I do. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.